This is what it's like to rent a private island in the Philippines. Woo! Where are we going? Oh my! <laughs> El Nido Palawan. El Nido, here we come. Excited? Sleepy and excited. We made it. I'm first off the plane. This place is a dream. Look at this. Wow. How do you describe this island in one word? It's amazing. This is a delicious table of Filipino food. Wow. It's really good. Oh my god. I'm so happy right now. As they say, you're only as good as your team. That's why I brought my entire Filipino-based production team of 11 all-stars on a retreat to celebrate all of their hard work. And we are having an absolute blast. This island could not be any more stunning and we have it all to ourselves. I can't even stress how beautiful this island is. It's just so private, pristine, coconut trees, white sanded beaches. And we're the only ones here. We literally rented this whole place. My team and I, it's been really, really special. This is my accommodation here on the island. Let's go check it out. All right, got the mosquito net here. Protect yourself from all the bugs. Got the fan, of course. There's no AC and they pride themselves on that, which is great. Bathroom, pretty nice and simple. This place is a dream. Look at this. Wow, so tropical, so beautiful. What do you think about the island? It's very beautiful. <laughs> True. Hi, Annette. How's life? Ah, oh, so beautiful and amazing. And that is an island girl. She's meant for these experiences. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's probably deep enough, right? Laura, how are you doing? I'm scared. <laughs> You're scared of here? Of the height of the walkway first, and then the water below. <laughs> She's hugging the nature. Yeah. How are you feeling, Jared? I'm wondering if it's deep or not. It's deep enough. <laughs> Dude! Woo! We're on the water here, and we're going snorkeling. Woo! The water is perfect. It's literally perfect temperature. Not too hot, not too cold. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> What do you think about it? It's amazing. Pure magic, guys. Being out here, the Philippine waters on a private island, it really doesn't get any more beautiful than this. I mean, God, I'm so happy right now. I've been coming to this country for 10 years. I lived here for two and a half years, and it just keeps getting better every time. There's no place like the Philippines. If you guys are watching this video and you want one takeaway, let it be that the Philippines is truly the most beautiful country in the world. How do you describe this island in one word? Oh, look at this, man. You've never been to Palawan? No, first time. It's pretty amazing. We are cruising in the beautiful ocean. With no destination in mind, this is us. We're going against the tide here, so it's a little rough, but it is uh, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> We, I accidentally just tipped it, that was not planned. So let's, let's flip it. Keep going. You ready? Yeah. It is lunchtime. Holy crap. That is a lot of delicious food. We have a very special fish. It's not tilapia. That is? It's mayamaya. It's a red mayamaya snapper mayamaya. and we have this uh, brown snapper. Plus, of course, that's the heart of Laurel Island. It's from our banana tree. Oh, cool. And of course, your team, special Floral Island adobo. Wow. Thank you. Welcome. Enjoy. This is a delicious table of Filipino food. Wow. Who's hungry? Me. Rice is nice. Is it good? 
Yeah, delicious. It's fresh. It's fresh. All the food here is really fresh and freshly made. This is like the classic Filipino dish right here. Really good. This sauce is so good. It's like vinegar and peppers and soy sauce all in one. Mmm, so good, right? Mm. Wow. The fish is so fresh and so soft. How's it, Jay? After that delicious meal, I met up with Flora to hear the story of how this private island came to be. We were on the way to El Nido in the year 2012. We were eyeing for a beach. When we came here, there was the house here for sale. We bought the house. This was nothing. This was their cockpit arena. Oh, for yeah. cockfight. And now is where I'm sleeping. So as I told you, this was this used to be a city. It's a village, Sitio Talakanen. So it was like a full community here when you arrived. Yeah. Those are still houses that was left behind. Oh, this is an abandoned house that was here. Huh? It's locked. Is that right? This is one of the houses of people that was living here before. How many people were here when you first came? So there are about 300 people here with children and they are all fishermen. Their main way of living was fishing. They have big fishing business here. You know the grouper, they have a big aquarium at the end of the island. They're selling to Japanese, Chinese. There are times the helicopter is picking up those live uh, fish. Imagine $100 per kilo of this grouper. How did they feel when you arrived and like they have their Thai community but you came as an outsider? So what did they, did they welcome you? Were they friendly? They were always friendly here. Very friendly because they are fishermen from the Bisaya, mm. from the Masbate, Gimaras, most of them. We're going up the stairs to the chapel that was here for the little community. The proper church. I have renovated the whole place because it's been destroyed by the typhoon to make Wow. It. Do you come here to pray when there's no people? Yeah, I do. Every Sunday, sometimes every day. The church is my power here. So there's nobody to join the ceremony. You just do it by yourself. There are times the staff are coming here and the guests are also praying here. And here, the beautiful view of the sleeping giant. You see, you have the same nose. Right uh -huh. there. Yeah. It's all ruined. There's always a basketball court in every Filipino island. Yeah, no more. No more. They, they abandoned everything. Can you imagine this place, this island before? Wow. Full of trashes everywhere. So we have, yeah, we're here maybe for a purpose. We had to clean up. Do you ever feel like a sense of loneliness that there were so many people here and now it's empty? I like it better now. Now it's much cleaner, it's much conserved. And we even saved this island from illegal fishermen. Mm. When you came here the first time, what made you decide like, I'm going to settle here? No, we did not settle up to here. After we bought the place, we just let the people stay there as long as they want. And we even pay them monthly for taking care of the house. Mm -hmm. My son had an accident, you know, so we decided to stay here for oh. his brain recovery. I think many Filipinos are going to be so shocked to hear about this place because it's like, like you live here and you, you built a really cool thing, but like everyone else left. It's so interesting. What I love about this place is it's very private and exclusive and you don't have anybody else coming here. There's no sounds. You can't even hear the next island. It's so secluded, you know? That's the charm of this place. This is owned by a Japanese who make business also with a grouper. Before? Yeah. Wow, this is a, yeah, it's a nice place to live. That is a cool looking abandoned house. Fall Look over. Off. You see how their house before all with saints. We're going from one side of the island to the other, through the abandoned houses. Careful, Tita. Yeah. Wow, this, this spot is really cool. You have these big rocks, beautiful coconut trees, and then low tide here, you can see all the corals, the seaweed. This walking tour has been super interesting and Flora is the best. But now it's time to meet back up with the team to explore around the island by boat. All right. Welcome, old boat. How are you? I'm good. Powering up to yep. the fullest. Don't want to go home. Please, old boat. Okay, Alex, 
Okay. <laughs> you did it. But um, it was perfect. Everything here is perfect. All right, we are on the boat going to explore the beautiful Floral Island. On my right side is the Island's Beach. There we normally do our wedding venue. Uh, is it limestone? Oh yes, it's a black marble. And this is our neighbor over there. The only couple. That's their house? Yeah. There are many abandoned houses there. Many what would you do if all the locals that left, what if they all want to come back? What would you do? Well, they're again welcome if they want to. How does it feel that you live in a private island that's so beautiful and many people don't know about it? We are very much privileged and thankful. I hope a lot of people are inspired by your story and they will come here themselves to experience yeah, I hope they will come here to experience what we have here. I mean, inspirational thought. Just learn the art of doing nothing. That's pretty inspirational. Thoughts? It's been so calm and relaxing. It's the perfect getaway from busy city life. It was well needed and it's been great. So we're just cruising around the island and it's absolutely amazing. Look at this limestone rock right here. Wow, speechless, absolutely stunning. Just a short boat ride away from Flora Island is this island where we pulled over. You know, I've always said the Philippines is the most beautiful country in the world and I think you can now see why. It is just fantastic. This is the kitchen in the back here, making all kinds of good stuff. Wow! Mmm! Mm. Delicious! Delicious? Okay. Yeah, yeah, how is it? I loved every second of being on this private island and I'm so grateful to have such an amazing team who edits my videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week. <laughs>